jail I put myself in by violating numerous drug laws is run by Sheriff Joe Arpaio. It's in Phoenix, Arizona. He's a famous sheriff, really hardcore, tough on criminals. He has two TV shows out, um, Smile You Under Arrest and Inmate Idol. The jail has the highest rate of death out of all the jails and prisons in America, uh, from gang members slaying inmates, guards killing inmates. 25 years ago, I was at a state school, like any of these young lads here. Went to, Ameri um, went to America, became a stock market millionaire, but I also threw rave parties, got heavily involved in club drugs, uh, SWAT team knocked my door down, and I ended up getting sentenced to nine and a half years, of which I served almost six. Ended up in America's toughest jail, where I started a blog that attracted international media attention to the conditions. It's like Brian Crenshaw was a partially blind shoplifter who failed to produce his ID. The guards pulverized him to death. He had a broken neck, went into a coma, and died. Um, but you just get so used to the violence, people getting smashed, bodies getting carried out. Um, there was a lot of shock on my face for the first several months, and the prisoners brought to me and said, you've got to get rid of that, otherwise you get paid on by the gangs. As I've gone in, told them my story, had them read excerpts about the gang violence, um, the food, green bologna and moldy bread, and an evening meal called Red Death, which was a mystery meat slot that sometimes had dead rats in it. Um, about the cockroach infestations and how I got to sleep by wrapping myself in a sheet basically to keep the uh, millions of cockroaches off me. Um, the violence is just routine. Everything you take for normal in society is reversed in prison. The more violent acts the gang members do, the more tattoos they get, and that's how they rise up in the gangs. Yep.